Hello friends, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, which is full of inspiration with journals, with supplies, I know that there's something you can get out of this to bring back to your craft room. And if you would like to purchase any of these things we're looking at, they're available in my shop under Marketplace Journals, Marketplace Supplies, or I have a couple things I'll let you know where they are. So we have some supplies from Barb. She's one of our suppliers, prolific supplier. She makes um, quite a few things. And they're beautiful, so I know that you will want to see what she has. And then we also have some journals from Kelly, I believe. And then I have a few things, uh, random things that I've been working on as well. So we are going to get right into this. I hope that you'll take a second to subscribe and that you will give this video a thumbs up somewhere along the line while you're watching it if there's something that you enjoyed. First, I'm going to show you these belly bands that I finished. I was inspired by um, Joey DeFee, I think is how you pronounce it, on YouTube. I've just started watching her. I've been aware of her channel, but I didn't really know what her content was like. Um, and then this week, I started watching some of it, and I was blown away and incredibly expired, inspired. <laughs> not incredibly expired, <laughs> incredibly inspired. She did not make this project. She was making um, envelopes, but I took a similar idea to what she was doing for this. And it is just kind of a mixture of collage, um, kind of painting, bringing the color down, melding the color together, stamping and images. So the background to it is just a white paper that has some gesso and purple, a purple mica powder glitter spray that I created. I created it for the shop, but it was too chunky for the spray bottle. I couldn't sell it. So I wound up just using a paintbrush and used it on some of my projects. And then they are just layered up with um, papers. And then I took some worn lipstick distress stain. I think I had some, what else did I use? I don't remember. A couple of things like that, that I, maybe a um, brown water. Anyway, I, I just painted it over. It kind of melds everything together. It gave it this gold pink hue and it's beautiful. I've done some handwriting stamps on it. And then I've put a focal image on each one. And these images come from Nature Image Club, uh, one of my image clubs where I add new images every single week. And these are all nature themed. So I chose three birds, three from the bird section, one from the plant section, and one from the um, bugs and insects section. So we have moths, we have um, different birds and flowers. So these are meant to, let me get out my example journal. Michelle made me this journal and I love to use it as an example journal. So these are meant to be a belly band. So you would put glue here and glue here and put it somewhere on the page. Then you are able to slip something in and it holds it. You could also glue all the way here and stick it on the edge of a page and then tuck something in this way. So that was the idea for this. And there's a set of five, just like that. So these are in Lindsay's Handmade. I have a lot more projects similar to this coming out because I've been working with these papers and this idea. I have a little envelope of goodies in here. These are just random journal. Here's like a pocket. They're collaged and stitched. So there's a pocket. There's a wallpaper tag with these hearts are from my kit Script and Lace. If you have not been on my shop in a day or two, we have redone the pricing for the print shop. I think in every case, or at least most cases, it will be a little bit cheaper now. I've worked out a good formula so that I can um, send along some of the savings to you that I'm able to get. And hopefully you'll be able to order a few more prints and not break the bank. So if you need it printed, check out the new pricing there. Um, so this one, and then here's another wallpaper snippet. Here's a tag with a snippet at the bottom. And then... We have some pockets here. 
wallpaper bases and then just collaged up and stitched. So just a little collaged snippet set here. They all rather coordinate. They would be really pretty in a journal together, or you can kind of just mix them up and use them wherever you want. And here's a little vintage envelope I put them in so you can reuse that as well. The last thing I have today from me are these little snippets. These are just little, little fun ones. There's um, wallpaper and packaging, and some of them have little bits of this upholstery fabric. And there's just different digi prints. So they're just little snippets meant to go in the corner on the edge of a page, turned into a text spot, something like that. So just a, a little teeny set. And then my mother-in-law, Connie, crocheted these flowers for the marketplace supply section, and she did them in different colors. So you get a wide range. These are beautiful. They would be gorgeous on covers. All right, we are going to go back and forth between Barb's supplies and Kelly's journals. That way, if you don't have time to sit through the entire video, you'll get an idea of both. So this is from Kelly. She made a little snapped pouch out of an embroidered linen. Isn't that cute? And then here is the journal inside. It is from a vintage book, Irving's Alhambra. And then she turned it into a little journal. How cute is that? There's a little butterfly and then a beautiful charm there on the side. It looks like it's purple inside. It is called, well, Purple Flowers Journal made from vintage hardbound book. Very nice. Kelly Dickinson. So I'm just going to hold this up here in gorgeous colors. Oh, she used, this is from my kit in my dreams. It's one of the journal cards. Very pretty. That's also from In My Dreams. If you love bits of purple, this is perfect. Cute little tuck spot. I can tell there's other digital kits in here that I'm not super familiar with, but I think I've seen some of them around. There's little tickets. How cute. It's just a mini journal. It is perfect for a gift, for traveling for a collection. It's got a lot of age to it. And then what a beautiful little pouch to keep it in. And it snaps, which is really neat. So I really love that. Okay, we're gonna pop over to um, something Barb made. We have some journal cards. Look at these. Now they're supposed to be journal cards, and yes, they definitely can be, but I could also see them on the front of a journal. And for example, we're going to look at this journal next that Kelly made, and it says journal, so you could put an image or pretend if it didn't have that. See how beautiful that would be on the front? Gorgeous. So you could use it as a um, front or maybe even a tuck spot in the front of a journal. So one, two, three, four. These are pretty big in relation to my hand. They're about the, well, about the size of my hand. So they're four and a quarter by five and a half. All right, like I said, we're going back and forth. So let's pop over to one of Kelly's journals. And we just looked at the front already. It is a hardback book that has been repurposed. It's called All Inked Up. I'm excited to see this one. Oh look, joy boldness. Look at the inks. So beautiful. I love that as an idea. How nice. And they're, they're bold yet muted. So it's a really neat color scheme. Look, there's a wax seal on that. I think that's a pouch. Is that a pouch? Oh no, it's a little booklet. I love, look at that. That is math paper from a book. And then she's, I think it's probably a vintage math book. She's inked it all up. I love that idea. I think I still have a math book, an old one, laying around that I haven't used. Ooh, these might be oxides. Almost have a chalky quality. Look at the, it's a stencil with it's all inked up. Perfect color scheme that I don't see a lot of. I mean, look at all that beautiful inking. Choose joy. Places to write. Lots of places to write. Fun ephemera. It's kind of vintage and modern all together and it works really well. Look at that 
stencil in there. It almost looks like it's part of the paper. That was an inspired journal for sure. She just took that cover, gave it a life of its own, and it is really perfect. Fun. I love that. All right, let's pop back over to um, Barb, and we have small cards, two and a half by three and a quarter. There's five of them. Look at how cute. These are really, really sturdy base, like very heavy. So they would be good on a cover or somewhere where you want a lot of heft, like a really hefty tuck spot. It could even, if you punched a hole in it, it is honestly thick enough and is not going to bend. It could be a big charm. Um, okay, so like this one. If you punched a hole in it and put a dangle, you could add it to the front of like a journal like this and have it hang. It's not going to crush. It's very thick. So I think that would be great use of that. Okay, popping back over to another journal. We have this super tall one that Kelly made. It says journal. I think it's a trifold. Look at how beautiful that paper is. I'm trying to stay in frame here. Vintage butterflies. It's five by ten and a half. The cover is the inside journal is a little shorter. Look at the butterflies. If you love butterflies, this would be a perfect journal for you. I love butterflies for sure. Gorgeous colors. Look at these tags. So pretty. Love it. Definitely different, really fun. There's a little floral charm right there. And popping back to Barb, we have another set here of cards. There's 10 of them, they're a three by five. Look at how pretty those are. You can write on the backs as well. They're just a whole variety. There's glitter on some of them. There's glitter on all of them. A whole variety of different ones. So you've got a lot to choose from and pop in your journals when you need that perfect extra touch. So those are from Barb. Go back to Kelly's journals. Look at this. Oh, look at those beads. Look at how beautiful they are. So it says journal again. This feels like a wallpaper cover. It's stitched around the edges. What a gorgeous cover. Okay. Vintage Girl and Flowers Journal. Designs by Ephemera's Vintage Garden. She used Miss Nellie Digital Kit. So she used that kit. Pretty. That little. That's a gorgeous tag there. Little postage stamp. Here's a sweet belly band. Got some gorgeous tags. Oh, that opens up. I love that. Got papers to write on. Vellum. A lot of fun. Gorgeous cover. Those beads. Oh, be so pretty sitting out somewhere as you're working in it. Be a good monthly journal. Back to a set of tags by Barb. This is six tags. Oh, look at how beautiful. Just collaged up faux stitching, book pages, ephemera. I love the shape of the tag. It's kind of like a ticket, but it's a tag. I love that idea. What a nice set. Okay. Here's another journal from Kelly. It says wildflowers. There's, oh, look at cute little buttons there. Feels like another wallpaper cover. Wildflowers journal. I love it already. Look at the blue teal and, and those uh, black and white florals. Look at date, plenty of places to write. Definitely my type of journal. This is uh, Nature's Diary. That's one of mine. Oops. So 
so beautiful. It is kind of understated. I love the contrast between the teal and then the neutral colors. And then that vellum. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. Back to Barb. We have some bird cards. One set of five cards. Look at how cute. There's a little glitter and there's music paper. It says thankful for. They all say thankful for. So a gratitude bird journal. Could you imagine? And then you can add your own bits to it if you like. You could add stitching. You could put a bulb pin. You could add a button. There's a lot of things you could do. If you wanted to add more, or you could ink the edges. You could leave it the way it is. So it gives you lots to work with. Here's another tall journal. I like the pink glitter on that paper. So this one is Vintage Rose Trifold. Hopefully I can get in frame here so you can see those. An, oh, look at that fabric flip. Beautiful. There's that postcard stencil. I think these might be some of the, oh, what are they called? I want to say craft tech. It might not be craft tech. There are um, a brand of stencils you can get on Amazon and I have a few of them. I've gotten them in some of my Amazon swaps. If that sounds interesting to you over on my Facebook group, I have, I think, I think it's under the announcements section. If it's not, you can send me a message and I can get you a link. But I have a journal supply Amazon wish list. And if you send me um, some items off of that, then I make you a simple journal and or send you ephemera pack to go with it. And um, it's just kind of a fun way to do a little swap using Amazon Prime. You don't have to pay for shipping. It's just fun. Um, and I've, I've done several journals for different ladies. They've been very happy. It's been a fun process and I've gotten some goodies. So I've gotten some of those stencils. That's how I got off track on that. So these are snippet strips. She might still have some in the shop. They might all be sold. So it's good to have some more. Um, you just pull them off the background here, but they're fabric snippet strips. And I will list them separately and I will number them. That way you can pick the set you want. There's four sets of two. They're beautiful for pockets, for page edgings, for snippets, cut them down, uh, journal covers, the spine of a journal. I used part of a snippet roll Diana made once for the spine of a journal. And if you want to see that, search um, Ode to Diana on my YouTube channel. The video will pop up and you can see that. Okay, one journal left, and I left it in this bag because I'm going to actually ship it in this. It's kind of cool. Look at how cute. I think she probably, this is from, I think she probably got this from Vintage Image Club. I'm not sure, but I think I have that in Vintage Image Club. Otherwise, I've seen it before. <laughs> There's a heart there. The corners are a little bent. I think that's fine for this type of journal, but it's a very light paper. It's kind of meant to be flimsy and flexible. This is called Friends. Mm, yep. So cute. Kind of a uh, more white base and bright and cheery. And of course, if you're a vintage gal, but you really like these images, you can use your more brown inks and you can take it down, tone these pages down with stenciling and spraying and coffee and all of that. I was watching a video yesterday by uh, Joey DeFee, like I was talking about, and she's like, oh, sorry about that. My phone was trying to, uh, telling me my storage was full. I had to delete uh, yesterday's video so that I could continue. But I was talking about taking this down a notch to a vintage color if you wished uh, using stencils and brown inks or playing up on the bright by adding more pinks and yellows and blues. So that is a cute uh, journal there to work on. We have a little bit of sari silk here to tie it. And that is all the journals from Kelly. But I do have just a couple more things from Barb that we will look at before we close out this video. So Barb 
is also such a master of making gorgeous journal cover pieces for you to put on your journals. And feel free to change them up any way you want to. Oh, we lost the little bulb pin. I like to sometimes take actually a journal I'm creating right now uh, for Sheila, actually. I used a big journal card that Michelle made me and then I added to it to make it my own. So you have a nice base. You would just add, I would use hot glue, but you could add a Fabri-Tac, whatever you wanted, right onto the front of a journal. So I'm just going to use this for an example, but depending on the size, you could trim it as well. So even though I'm going to put the dimensions, you may say, mm, it's a little wider than I want. Well, there's a couple things you can do. This is on by a bulb pin. So you could move it to the other side or you could take this off and add it somewhere else. If you trimmed a strip on either end, you would still be able to use a strip of lace as a page edging or a snippet, but it would make it narrower. And look at how pretty that blue would be on something like that. So you can always um, turn it into what you need it to be and use the leftovers and get the most out of it. So if you're doing a really wide, big journal, then this could work perfectly but maybe you need to take it down a little bit, take it um, smaller. You can trim it and do that as well. Look at how pretty that one is. Very gorgeous. And then there's this one. I love that. Oh, look at how pretty. It's like a vintage Cinderella type. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the last thing um, is this big matching stationery set. There's a ton of cards and envelopes, um, stationery, and stickers. So these are very vintagey looking. You can see the light design there. Almost looks like a William Morris type of a design. So these are great to use in pretty much any vintage journal. You get a huge stack, a huge lot of them here. Uh, just kind of like a de-stash. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I really enjoyed looking at everything with you and I hope that you will check back tomorrow for more content and I can't wait to show you what's next.